person by your side say you are welcome to the table of the Lord there shall be spiritual delicacies here tonight oh yes if you are hungry say I am hungry I am hungry oh thank you Jesus oh you can have your seat thank you Lord thank you Lord I want to thank our Father Apostle Aram El Sai for allowing the Holy Ghost use him to groom my life. Hallelujah. I can say he has been walking on the spots and the wrinkles of my life. Remain small, but it will soon be perfect. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, sir, for the patience. I thank him and I thank all, I welcome all our guests from within and outside of Benue and beyond the nation, across the nations of the earth. Online and on ground, you're all welcome tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. And best of all, I want to thank our fathers in the land who have joined us in this, in this push for revival. I thank Bishop Benjamin Kurudu, who is in our midst. You are welcome. I also thank the Can North Central Secretary, Bishop Mike Angle, who is in our midst with his wife. God bless you. And I thank Uncle Touja, who has always stood and supported us all this time. God bless you. Oh, yes, the old cannot walk without the young, and the young cannot walk without the old. We need the old and the young to push and advance the kingdom of God in our time and in our age. Hallelujah. And that is why we need them. It is, it is so great to have you in our midst, that you find us worthy to even be in our midst in this time. Thank you so much. You see, the old need posterity that their works will speak on the earth. Without the young, their works would not speak. We thank you for guiding, for leading, for covering us in this time. The young also need the wisdom of the old, the experience of the old. And that is why the young cannot walk alone and the old cannot walk alone. And I pray that in this time all across the whole world, the old and the young will come together to advance the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I'm here to bring a very short charge as I stand before our fathers. Honestly, my legs are shaking. Jesus, help me tonight. <sighs> I bring a short charge from the book of Revelations, chapter 14. I'll just quickly read it from chapter 14 to 19. And it says, And unto the angel of the church of the Laudations write, This thing saith the day, Amen. The faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, and thou art neither cold nor hot. I will thou wear cold or not. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods, and I have need of nothing. And knowest not thou, thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in fire, that thou mayest be rich in white, gum, in white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thy eyes with thy sows, that thou mayest see. As many as I love are rebuked and chasten. Be zealous therefore and repent. Therein in this scripture for me lies the marks 
of a dead church. Yes, Christianity all across the world, something is happening. There's death in our churches, in the lives of Christians. And whence we have gathered for FOG to bring a renewal and a revival. When we talk of a church, it's beyond the walls of a physical church. We are talking about God's people. There are so many churches and people who are dead to the spirit of God in our time and age. And using the laudation church, which signifies a lot of Christians today. And number one, Mark. Most Christians don't care much about anything God at this time. We who are in the church are much more than those who are out, out there. So many people have turned away from the Lord, even as they have their names Christians or they are born in the church. They're not ready to strive for the mastery today. Most Christians are sleeping. Most are unfaithful. Most have drawn back and away from the reason they came to Christ in the first place for redemption and life they fall back to their old ways meanwhile Jesus is faithful a true witness they have forgotten that we they have forgotten that we are and have always been in war between good and bad between light and darkness they have become very complacent in our time they have become lukewarm but there's a warning tonight in our time. Said anyone Jesus spills out in disgust has no hope of eternal life. There's an opportunity for us here in FOG to retrace our steps back. Number two, Mark. Spiritual self-confidence is plaguing our church most people don't know that they are improvised. Feeling good about how you are doing spiritually doesn't mean you are doing well spiritually. These Christians feel they are sufficient in themselves because you speak in tongues and you think that is all and your life is nothing to show for it. Your life in church is different from your life outside. But Jesus says, you don't realize that you are wretched, you are pitiable, you are poor, you are blind and naked. Our travels in the last few months, I decided to latch on the train of missions with my husband this last few months. We went from place to place. At first it was very exciting. I thought it was another opportunity to see another nation. After a while, I got weary. When I, I, my, my eyes were open to the hunger that is in the nation, to the nakedness all across the land, to the wilderness, to the dryness. And I looked around. I said, this is not an opportunity for travel, but it's an opportunity for, for me to see that there is work to be done. There is work. There's so much to be done. Only Jesus is sufficient for us all. Even the best of us still need his sufficiency. And the third mark of a dead church or a Christian is that they refuse to listen in our time. So many are rebellious in the church. There's so many rebellious Christians in our time. They think they know it all. They know it all. They refuse correction. Discipline they refuse. And Jesus says, those whom I reprove, those whom I love, I reprove and discipline. So he says, be zealous and repent. Fervency has been lost. We go to church Sunday, Wednesday service, Sunday service. But our lives is far away from a personal relationship with Christ. What kind of Christian are you in our time? 
Are you the 40 fold Christian or the 60 fold Christian or the 100 fold Christian? If you yield only 40% to the Holy Spirit, you will bring forth only 40 folds of fruit. And if you yield 60, you will bring forth 60. If you yield to the Holy Ghost 100%, you will bring forth a hundred fold fruits. And only submission to God in our time can bring forth that full blown revival that we have prayed and we have longed for. The church must return. It must return to the one and only Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the center, the author, and the finisher of our faith. There's a call to come back home. Where are the Phillips, the Marys, the Stevens? Where are they all? Where are you? You have gone so far away. It is time to come back home. The Lord is in need of you. The Lord is in need of you. And those who are outside of the fold, those who are outside, darkness is getting thicker. Gross darkness, the whole land. Won't you join the light? Won't you join the train of light? Jataka basito latai. Oh, shale branda sakababa. We need fire in our time. We need fire in our bones. We need fire to push, to push to the next level. We need, we need to yield completely to Jesus. Hundred percent. Uh, if you hear my voice, I'd like you to rise up because we have some prayers here to pray tonight. You want to pray, Lord, reset my mind. Because some of us, we have strange mindsets, strange opinions. Strange thoughts. Strange thoughts. Lord, reset my mind. Reset my mind. You want to pray tonight? Change my mindset. Then I will see through a different vista. I will see through your eyes, Lord. I will see the hunger in the land. I will see the wilderness. I reset my ideology. The ideology of Christians these days is upside down. We call darkness light and light darkness. Reset my mind. Can you pray? Can you pray? Let the Lord do a quick walk in your life this weekend. Do a quick walk in my life tonight. You want to pray? I want to have the mind of Christ. I want to have the mind of Christ. I want to have the mind of Christ. Oh yes, Kabanada dia satata. Are you praying? Are you praying? Ana satena mana satata ya. Oh sayata kabababa. If you have the mind of Christ, if you see through the eyes of Christ, you will see the suffering and the darkness all across the land. Akakam breketu sakata dia de breketi ala la la la. Rakabanada dia satata kamba korya kabanada dia. You want Jesus to come back? You want him to come back to the church? You want the lost glory? The lost glory? The lost glory to return? And this Oh yes, earlier today, Apostle talked about a mixture. A mixture. There's a mixture. I am Satatata. In these last days, there will be a great divide. Between those who serve God and those who are mixtures, Kabanda Korea Kabala da Sataya Kabal Shakabada da Satata. Anoint my eyes with my sound. Ah, that I may see what you see. There is a call, there's a call, there's a call to move away from the outer courts. A Kabrenda Satata Taliata Kabala Shatata. Oh, yes, but you cannot do business. Business with the holiest of pleasure. Like this, you cannot do business with the most holiest one. You can't do business like this. You need a 
change. A 360 turn around. You need to break away from the powers that have held you bound. And right here on this ground, there is power made available. There is power. There is power on this ground tonight uh, to deliver you from lukewarmness. Uh, you want to say, Lord, uh, deliver me uh, from lukewarmness. Uh, deliver me. Uh, you want to say, cry, deliver me from the spirit of the Antichrist. Uh, help me to save you 100%. Uh, without God, uh, purge me, Lord, uh, so that I can carry fresh fire. Fresh fire. Right from this ground, so that I can carry new wine, new wine, because therein lies power. Take me through what I need to go through. You want to pray? Take me through what I need to go through to keep the fire fresh. Take me through it. Take me through it. I want to be young and usable. I want to be young and usable. I want to be old and usable too. Come discipline me and punch me. We have heard, we have heard of revival moves of the past. Lord, we don't want to rely on previous moves of God. We want to see the new and the current manifestations of God in our land, in our nation, in our world. Let the FOG be a turning point. Let FOG be a turning point in my walk with you. Rakapada da 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 ya.